So up until this point, the biggest Yeti fish house you could get was 21 feet, which is pretty darn big. But Yeti this year is coming out with a 24 foot fish house. As you can see, we got one right here behind us. In this video, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out. I have not been inside yet, so I'm excited. I'm here with Tom from Yeti and he's gonna give us a little tour. Yeah, absolutely. This year for our 2021 model year, we now offer three different layouts in a 24 foot. Uh, one in our angler edition, meaning it's built for ice fishing primarily, and then two in our grand escape editions. They're built for year round use and pretty much every other use you can think of. So uh, yeah, let's get inside where it's warm and check it out. Let's go. Wow. That is pretty wild. This is totally different. Yeah, absolutely. It's a whole new take. Uh, given the extra length we have, we are able to do some creative things within the layout. Uh, you can see in, in this model, we have what we call our soft touch finish. Um, it's a little bit different uh, style wall than what we traditionally have with uh, tongue and groove everywhere. Um, That's typically what you'd see on RVs more, more often, right? Yeah, it has a little bit more um, RV feel. And this is our uh, Grand Escape 824-DRKF, um, which basically means it's a 24-foot uh, Grand Escape uh, with a full bathroom in it. And we'll see that in a little bit. Um, this is the, the back part of the house here. You're going to see we have a entertainment center that uh, is optional with a second TV. Uh, lots of storage. Uh, highlighted by a pull-out garbage can. Oh yeah, there so we go. A little bit of the comforts of home. It's convenient, stores it out of the way. Uh, lots of cubbies for small things. Uh, great places to store your uh, auger battery out of the way. And then we have a dinette set up here that uh, has a table that comes with it. Um, super comfy for four people to sit down and uh, eat dinner, play cards at night, and then also it folds down into a uh, double size bed. Uh, above us there's a drop down 60 inch queen lift bed and providing even more sleeping. Uh, it's a little bit more comfortable I'd say than anything else on the market. It actually has a bit of a box spring below it so it makes those longer trips uh, more enjoyable. As we move into the center of the house we get into the kitchen area. All Grand Escapes come standard with a sink, the oven, microwave combo, and also a fridge. Uh, this has an upgraded uh, refrigerator, so it is actually 12 volt and 110 volt. Uh, a little bit more convenient uh, if you're on the go a lot. Um, some unique things we incorporated this year are uh, wireless charging ports in the countertops. So you'll see some wow. black pucks. Uh, convenient to set your phone down, charge, and then in addition we still have our uh, 12 volt outlets and 110 volt outlets uh, throughout the house, so it's always convenient. To charge your items. Kind of ironic, having a. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 6S and it doesn't work on that. Okay, fair enough. So if you have a phone newer than four years old, it should work. Okay. Uh, as we move towards the back, it turns into more of a, a living area. Um, you have a couch, a fireplace, um, we have the big 50 inch TV above, makes it great. Um, either viewing sports or also you can plug your underwater camera into it or some type of sonar. Uh, puts it in real time. Something unique in this model and available in all 24 footers is the option to get uh, two furnaces versus just one. It really helps uh, circulate the airflow from the front to back and then it also um, provides an additional uh, backup heat source if, if you did have one furnace go down um, you still have some heat versus you know a room leaking potentially. <clears throat> so here we have the uh, jackknife couch with the drop down bunk above. Um, ceiling fan, which is a great option for, for any house. Just helps uh, create air movement throughout. And then something new we've never done before is we have a front bunk option. That's really cool, yeah. So yeah, it's great. You know, in design we thought, oh, it's a great spot for kids. And then of course the first time the house was used, uh, an adult jumped up there and was like, this is the best spot in the house to sleep. So um, definitely, uh, provides a lot of uh, different sleeping options and also uh, storage areas when you're uh, fishing during the day or, or at a campsite. Unreal. So how many people could this sleep? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This model we rate for seven to nine people um, and you can sleep those comfortably in here. 
Um, obviously, you can always cram more people in if, if you want on that ice fishing weekend, but yep. that's what we suggest. Right. Not highlight at all, we do have a full bathroom here in the front V. Um, our version of a full bath includes a plumbed in gray and black water tank. Um, we have the onboard fresh water tank, and then it has a shower, toilet, and a sink and vanity in the, in the bathroom. Um, so great for your summer camping trips and areas where you might be more remote and not have the uh, standard facilities available. One other really cool option available in 2021 for all models um, is a new in-command control center. And what that allows is for the owner of the fish house to control and monitor their fish house uh, via Bluetooth yep. within the house. And then we also have a Wi-Fi option um, so you can actually control and monitor your house from basically anywhere in the world as long as you have cell phone service. So let's check it out, it's pretty cool. Cool. Okay, so this is our in-command control module right here. What you're gonna notice right away is that all the light switches and controls are basically gone from what you'd see in a traditional fish house or RV. Um, it cleans it up and makes it a lot more functional. So to start, we still have our standard interior and exterior light. Um, that's just a quick on off. If you have gloves on, it's convenient. Um, but your main functioning is gonna be on this touchscreen panel. Um, so you simply just hit a button and it turns on right away. And what you're gonna see is your tank monitors. So you can see your fresh black and gray water tanks. Uh, you also see your battery voltage. And then you have some basic functions of turning your water pump on, water heater on, um, and also a quick into your lights on off button. Um, in the center here is where you're gonna control most of your different functions. Uh, one of the really cool and innovative features is the heat and AC. So you can control your HVAC uh, capabilities from basically anywhere as long as you have Wi-Fi. Other things, you can control your motor functions. So in this house, we have an awning and also the electric bed lift. Uh, you simply hit in and out and the um, object performs as it should. Lights, any light we have that could be dimmed or we think a customer would want to dim, we make it dimmable and you can change it from 100 power all the way down to 10 power to really uh, fit the mood you're looking for within the house. And that covers uh, interior and exterior lighting. This is a cool system within itself, but the fact that you can have all this on your phone to me is really cool. We were talking about that earlier. And you know, if you're out ice fishing like this, maybe we're using the Yeti as the base camp and then we come in and sleep and hang out and have dinner inside the house. And one thing that we we're talking about would be a really cool use case would be if you're out hole hopping all day, maybe an hour before you get in, you wanna heat up the house and make sure it's all ready. Maybe turn on the lights because it might be dark as you're getting in. Um, or when you're out camping, you can do the opposite. You can cool it down when you're, uh, I don't know, out hiking or whatever up at Itasca or whatever, wherever else people camp. But yeah, those are just a couple of cool use cases, in my opinion, with the phone. You don't have to be within range of it or anything like that, correct? Correct, yep. So the standard setup is um, Bluetooth capable and then um, we have a Wi-Fi router you can get that you simply just add a line to your phone plan and then it allows you to um, control everything remotely um, from anywhere. Assuming you have cell phone service. Assuming you have cell phone service, which thankfully that's about everywhere these days. Yeah, true. Um, another really cool feature about it to bring up too would be uh, monitoring your battery voltage. Um, it's always inconvenient when you go out to the house and you're ready to use it and you find out the battery's dead. Um, well, this system actually sends your phone a notification um, that will allow uh, you to know, hey, your battery's low, and then you know you need to plug it in or uh, get charging on it. So. If you wanna know what this layout looks like and the other two models, we're gonna put that on the screen right now. You can check that out. So I think that just about wraps up the tour. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate walking through it today and we'd encourage everyone to check us out online or at a local dealer. Um, Yetis can be configured even 24 footers to be uh, more basic uh, all the way up to um, having all the bells and whistles that we saw today. Yeah, absolutely. If you are gonna be Putting in the investment to get one of these houses, you're gonna to wanna to have it rigged up the way you want it if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in here. So I'd recommend doing what Tom just said and I wanna thank all you guys for watching.